Hello and welcome to the AHEAD Asia Awards 2021. I'm Guy Dietrich, Editor-at-Large of Sleeper Magazine, and I'm very happy to be your host for this year's awards. We are delighted to be together with you again to celebrate the very best of hospitality experience and design across the vast and beautiful Asia region. We've got a lot of inspiring and leading edge hotel designs to share with you. So we split the ceremony in half with a short break in the middle. Earlier today, we were very pleased to see the activity generated by all of you, our wonderful supporters, at our virtual Ahead Asia networking event. Sponsors, partners, judges, and the rest of the hotel community shared some great content and networking opportunities in the virtual world. And a huge thanks must go to all our sponsors for the support they show us, as together we head towards a new dawn for the industry. Leading the way, we have this message from our global headline sponsor, RH Contract. We don't do it alone. And we don't care where the ideas come from. We just want to be part of it. We create our designs to support people in their lives, to make them feel comfortable, more creative. People can rest. It's not just a job to me, it's not just work. I breathe design. Design is not something that we do, it's something that we are. It's how we see our life, how we see the world, and how we challenge our environment. And thanks must also go to all of those who entered this year's awards. We saw a pleasing 200 entries from 80 locations all around Asia. We whittled these down to our shortlist, and from those, we're about to reveal the first of the winners across 16 categories. Those winners have been selected by our judges, a respected independent panel of experts comprising leading hospitality architects, designers, owners, operators and developers from across the region. They met virtually a few weeks ago in an honest and open discussion to assess, debate and deliberate over those shortlisted projects before deciding the ultimate winners. In the case of a judge having a conflict of interest, they were put into a waiting room and were not involved in the discussion nor the voting surrounding that particular project. Impartiality is paramount. And we take this opportunity to thank all our judges for their time and enthusiasm. Before we reveal the first of their decisions, let's hear from a few of our judges on what they were looking for and what they got excited about during the process of judging our shortlisted hotels. Because we hadn't been traveling and been able to see or experience places, I found judging the awards to be really therapeutic. It gave a wonderful sense of escapism. In the bar, club and lounge category, each one of these entries stood out as being different to the overall design of the property, which of course speaks importantly to the fact that they are designed not just for the hotel, but for the wider community. There was different styles from open air rooftop bars to smaller, edgier, subterranean bars, as well as the more bijou type classical bar. Within a hotel guest room, I'm always looking for extremely efficient use of spaces. I'm also looking for adaptable and intuitive planning of guest rooms, rooms that can create different experiences for the guest. You're looking for a sense of warmth, a sense of intimacy, a real sense of place, somewhere that's very much rooted in its locality. We want spaces where people can get a feel for where they are when they wake up. I thought it was a very refreshing category, hotel conversion. These really reflected a very wide spectrum of hotel types. The important part is how far can you take this existing structure and transform it into something that fulfills a completely different potential. There's an essential sustainability principle behind the hotel conversion. I really do enjoy when there are moments and surprises when you can suddenly get a glimpse into what it once was. In a new build property, there is a perfect opportunity to center everything around the guest experience to make it intuitive, welcoming, and to create that emotional bond with the guest. When designing a new build, the first customer perhaps to consider is actually the local customer. 
because if you have local use, then you'll have a busy public space. And if you have busy public spaces, people will want to stay with you. When you look at the hotel renovation and restoration category, I think it's important that you're able to recognize the old, but yet you're able to embrace the new as well. When it's really well done, the impact of this restoration would actually influence the community or the context. You would sense that the neighborhood would change because of it. We're seeing more and more attention paid to the outdoor spaces of hotels. In the landscape and outdoor spaces category this year, we had everything from a mountainside resort to a forest retreat through to a waterfront urban hotel. The landscape design, it's not separate to the architecture or the interior. In fact, it is simply another room in the development. And therefore, whatever design, whatever narrative, whatever is happening within the rest of the property, it must be intrinsically linked. A lobby needs to really set the tone for the rest of the hotel, it needs to create that feeling that you're arriving somewhere really special and very much as a backdrop to the theatre of hotel life. Memorable moments are very important. Capturing the guest's attention or grounding the guest and making them feel at home as they come in the door. You want to see that narrative carried right through the public spaces of the hotel to the finest level of detail. It's been a real privilege to look at all these projects. The judges really found that it was a sign of the resilience of the industry that these projects have opened during the pandemic regardless and have still scaled the heights of excellence that they've achieved. Our judging sessions are always full of debate and argument. It's fascinating to hear the differing points of view. Thanks very much there to our judges for their questioning minds and their enthusiasm. And we take this additional opportunity to thank all of our judges for their time and efforts. Right, just before we announce the first of our winners, here's a look at how our beautiful trophies are created. Thanks there to our trophy sponsors, Lazvit. Before we reveal the first of our awards, please get social by using one of these hashtags, at ahead underscore awards, hashtag ahead Asia, hashtag good times ahead. And there's more at stake for our winners, as they will go on to be judged in our ahead global event in December 2021. There, they will represent the very best of Asia as they go up against the winners in our other three regions. So, good luck to all the designers, owners and operators of this year's shortlisted project as we reveal and celebrate the winning designs in Ahead Asia 2021. So let's get started with our first category which recognizes the best bar, club or lounge and is sponsored by Music Concierge. Here come the contenders. From these fantastic nominations, we need a winner. Here the judges saw in our winner that it was exceptionally well considered and detailed with a rich and handsome design. And we welcome from Music Concierge, Miles Slater, to announce the winner. And the winner is Too High at the Rosewood Guangzhou. A massive congratulations to you guys and keep up the great work. Thank you, Miles. Congratulations to the Rosewood Guangzhou. This winning design by Yabu Puschelberg reveals more and more with each viewing, thought our judges. 
featuring the great execution of a variety of timber finishes and a considered layering of materiality, all delivered with an experienced hand. It's right on brand for Rosewood. Thank you Ahead Asia for the award. By achieving this, we successfully reflected Rosewood's sense of place concept, which articulates stories of Guangzhou through spaces and decor. Within this 530 meter sky high of Moasis, guests will discover one of China's most complete and contemporary hotel experiences. A stylish and artistic design combined with a modern and residential inspired approach parades throughout the entire hotel. Bar Club or Lounge winner, Too High at Rosewood Huangshao. And our thanks to Music Concierge. Now it's time for our Event Spaces Award, and this is sponsored by Lasvit. And here the nominations are... From those, the winner impressed the judges with a seamless space where everything flows together from the architecture to the interiors and styling. To reveal the winner from Lasbet, here's Lucas Cherney. And the winner is... Capella Bangkok. Congratulations from everyone in Lasbet. Thanks, Lucas. Capella hits all the right notes. A flowing white staircase beautifully embraces a sculptural central art piece whilst the serene, sophisticated and adaptable spaces are like a blank canvas, allowing hosts to create their own space. Well done to BAMO. On behalf of BAMO and PIA, we're thrilled to accept the AHEAD Award for Event Spaces for the Capella Bangkok. We're grateful to the judges and the team at the AHEAD Awards for recognizing this magical property. Thank you to our visionary client, Country Group Development, the architects, Hamilton's International, and our other talented collaborators. This was a great journey with an inspiring ending. A special thanks to the team at Capella Bangkok for their help in telling our story. The event spaces winner, Capella Bangkok. And our thanks to Lasbet. Our next award is for the best guest rooms, sponsored by Villaroy and Boch. And here's the shortlist that starts with three Japanese hotels and some big names in the business. Winner here impressed the judges with its use of authentically local materials and finishes. To tell us which takes the trophy, from Villaroy and Bach, here's Louise Vidor. Welcome, Louise. And the winner is Zania Hotels by San Ho. Congratulations. By San Ho brings something new to the region's hospitality scene, unique and yet particularly Vietnamese, with a feeling of luxury and comfort. One judge said, you want to inhabit these spaces and feel the walls. And we're very proud to be shortlisted uh, for this award as the best guest room for 2021 with Hotel Baiseno that we just opened uh, a few months ago. So it's a big reward for, for all the team and all the effort uh, that has been placed in this, uh, in this adventure. Many thanks there to Arno Zania, who will be joining us at Sleeper Sessions, our new networking event in Da Nang in 2022. And congratulations to Geraldine Dehone at Beyond Design. Guest Room's winner, Zania Hotels by San Ho. And our thanks to Valorian Boch.
Our next award is for the best hotel conversion, sponsored by Tucci. And here are the nominations from right across the region. Here, the winner was described by the judges as quirky and fresh. For that all-important judges' decision, here's Tucci's Amy Hudwalker. And the winner is Hotel K5 Tokyo. Congratulations. Thank you, Amy. Hotel K5 oozes originality in a self-assured and self-contained package of hospitality that embraces and truly celebrates the original building it inhabits. A strong approach to F&B, coupled with the unusual design, are both smart moves. Congratulations to Stockholm-based Clayton Coivisto Rune Architects. The K5 Hotel is a coherent and sometimes deliberately disparate Gesamtkunstwerk, and it was conceived in only 14 months. All of this would not have been possible with the dedication of us architects alone, but above all, the everything is possible attitude of all involved. The management, the restaurant and bar operators, the suppliers, builders, gardener, and last but not least, the master craftsman. Thank you all. Thank you. Ahead Asia 2021 hotel conversion winner, Hotel K5 Tokyo. And our thanks to Tucci. Our next award is for New Build Properties and it's sponsored by Rocha. In the running here. From those, the winning design really captures the imagination. And here's Rocker's Rena Tan to reveal that winner. And the winner is... Lijiang Haila Vintage Hotel. Congratulations from the Roka team. In the words of one judge, I want to be there. Haila Vintage Hotel is a whole ecosystem, not just a hotel. Guests learn about the history, local arts and crafts, and they're also immersed in nature. This design is an incredibly beautiful collective of spaces, materiality and detail, and all with a true sense of place. Hi everyone, I'm Leo, the co-partner of Pula Brand, as well as the general manager of Pula Vintage Hotel. As a new brand in China, it is a great honor to be nominated in three categories in Ahead Asia 2021. Though we meet this year, Pula has already gone through four years accumulation of relentless endeavor. We are deeply grateful for all of our friends. It is your belief and support that has made this possible. Thank you. Hotel new build winner, Li Yang Haila Vintage Hotel. And our thanks to Rocker. We like to look each other in the eye and extend a welcoming hand. 
We like to chat, even if it's just about the weather or yesterday's game. And the sun. We love the sun. We like to celebrate life and its wonders. We like to transform ideas into reality. And we like it even more if it brings a smile. We like to be at the forefront, but we'd never switch a conversation for technology. We like to acknowledge that we're all uniquely different and our needs are not the same. We like design, if design makes life easier. We like order and also like to throw it all up in the air sometimes. And think to the future, thinking of others, those who are near and afar. We like to remember that most significant things are built together as a family. But what we like most of all is to be by your side. That's why we've always been there, the way we like it, for over a hundred years. Rocker, there for you. Next up, the award for Hotel Renovation and Restoration. And on this shortlist... Four convincing contenders here. But the winner was an amazing transformation, creating a distinctive experience. And to reveal that winner from the judging panel, here's Karen Hay. And the winner is the Chow Kit and Ormond Hotel. Congratulations to the whole team. Thanks to Karen. The Chow Kit is an excellent demonstration of the successful conversion of an existing budget hotel to an upscale lifestyle hotel. The judges appreciated the way in which upcycled furniture was used to give a local feel and commended the rigour of details in all areas from architecture through to interior design and of course guest experience. Hello from lockdown in Malaysia. Um, the Chow Kit was a truly collaborative project um, that crossed multiple time zones. Um, and was very much brought to life by a collaborative effort of talented, of a talented, ambitious and hardworking team. Um, we would like to thank uh, very much Post Company, formerly known as Studio Tech, whose design vision really put us on the map. Um, our local architects and project managers, uh, tropical area, all the local craftspeople um, who created unique and one-of-a-kind pieces for us. It was such a joy to see them work up close. Uh, Fisker, Record Furniture and In Strike um, our homegrown Malaysian artists who uh, were so happy and so eager to create original artwork for our walls and halls under the guidance of our tireless art curator Lisa Ho. Um, and of course we are most grateful for everyone on our own Norman team um, under the stewardship of our CEO Gareth Lim. Uh, most of the team had actually never worked in hospitality before this. Um, so to be able to be shortlisted um, or even win with our debut property means so much to us. And we are incredibly humbled by this recognition, especially in um, such a challenging uh, year. Um, so thank you Ahead Asia and uh, thank you everyone. Hotel renovation and restoration winner, the Chow Kit. Next, it's the award for best landscaping and outdoor spaces. And there are four great projects on the shortlist in very different locations. The winner here blurs the lines between the natural and constructed environments. To reveal who's claiming this award, here's Judge Sun Mi Moon. And the winner is Li Zhang Hilla Vintage Hotel. Congratulations to the project team. Thanks to Sun Mi. 
This landscape design is attuned to the indigenous setting and takes a deeply considered approach to seasonality. The water elements are simple and effective, adding context in their reflection of the local way of life. Hello, this is LJ from This Cape. Thank you so much to Ahab for this honors of honors. This award belongs to the whole This Cape team, who work really hard to create such a special outdoor garden. Thank you, our kind Pula, who did their best to preserve indigenous culture and native plants. I want to thank my family, team, and my parents for keeping me sane all these years. Thank you. Landscaping and Outdoor Spaces winner. Congratulations to Lai Yang Hyla Vintage Hotel. Our penultimate award in this part is for the best lobby and public spaces and is sponsored by Preciosa. And the contenders feature a few candidates who have already been shortlisted. And here the judges saw the warmth and comfort of interior spaces that still connected strongly to the power of the landscape. And it's over to our sponsor, Preciosa, to reveal the winner. And the winner is Park Hayat Niseko Hanazono. Congratulations. The interiors of the public spaces reflect the Park Hyatt brand. The color schemes and textual contrast of the natural materials create a compelling ambiance for this modern ski resort. Hi from Melbourne. Uh, I'd like to thank AHEAD for uh, celebrating our hospitality design community, uh, to thank the owner, PCPD and operator High International for entrusting Bar with this uh, great opportunity to design this project and of course our uh, Bar design team who have been committed to the project for years to make it happen. Thank you. Seeing this project come to life and be celebrated has been fuel for us to continue doing what we love to do which is making beautiful spaces that also feel great. Thanks. Well done to Bar Studio, our lobby and public spaces winner, Park Hyatt Niseko Hanazono. And thanks to Preciosa. Our short break is almost upon us as we come to the last category in this first part of our awards. And it's the award for outstanding contribution made to someone whose lifetime's work has made a significant impact on hotel design. Here's the head of hotels and lifestyle development, Galaxy Entertainment Group and chair of our judging panel, Troy Hickox. Thanks Guy. Uh, the previous recipients of the Outstanding Achievement Award include legends uh, who defined a style, an approach, uh, or a genre of hotels and design and hospitality. Uh, Bill Bensley, uh, Priya Paul, Kerry Hill, Jaya Ibrahim. Uh, on behalf of the judging panel and the team at Ahead and Sleeper, uh, as well as all the sponsors, I have the great pleasure today of announcing uh, that this year, the awards for hospitality experience and design uh, recognize and celebrate the outstanding contribution of Sonia Cheng, CEO of Rosewood Hotel Group. Before I introduce her, uh, we have a few of Sonia's notable collaborators uh, who would like to help us pay tribute to her. And here are Forth Bagley, uh, Principal of Cohn Peterson Fox, Stuart Robertson, Principal of Bar Studio, and Tony Chi, founder of Tony Chi Studio. Hi, I'm Forth Bagley, a managing principal at KPF Architects here in New York, and a longtime collaborator with Sonia and her team at Rosewood. I'm so pleased that her contribution to the hotel industry is being recognized 
and there's no question in my mind that she's raised the bar for all of us in the industry. I can remember nights in Tokyo driving around <laughs> trying to find restaurants off the beaten track to benchmark food, or workshops with Tony and Stuart and her team when we were developing Rosewood Hong Kong, where we would design, redesign, redesign, redesign the rooms over and over again until Sonia felt that she had the hotel experience that she wanted. Success is never predetermined, and Sonia's success in, in driving the industry forward is in large part due to her vision and the, and the shared vision with her team. I'm so grateful to have the experience of working with her and her team throughout the last couple decades on a number of hotels. And just like to say congratulations to Sonia, congratulations to her team on countless successes in the industry and to many, many more decades of innovation for all of us. Congratulations, Sonia, on a truly deserved award. Personal, relatable, brave, ambitious, passionate, committed to excellence, distinctive, curious, collaborative, inclusive and genuine. Your qualities, your values, you brought these to define the qualities of your brand and your team. And that, from my point of view, is a huge strength. It's, it's, it's genuine, it's personal, which in, as we all know, in this day and age is so often desired and so rarely achieved. It's all about relationships and connections, a, a timeless definition of hospitality. Great relationships build great projects and great experiences. And your commitment to design, to designers and to guest experience has pushed the boundaries of hospitality and hospitality design, creating not just a brand, but more importantly, a culture that is at once innovative, exceptional and exclusive, but also inclusive, comfortable and that uh, actually felt, feels kind of meant to be. Bravo. Um, as designers, to work alongside someone with your visionary mindset and genuine commitment to excellence has been an absolute dream. Uh, myself and the bar team feel privileged to be part of this journey and we send our heartfelt congratulations. Well done. Hello, this is Tommy Chi, founder of Tommy Chi Studio. In nearly 40 years of my life in design, I cater and focus nearly 40 years to hospitality life. And I am fortunate cross, cross paths with great many passionate, dedicated, hardworking industry people that contributed the cornerstone that makes our industry. Foremost, great many families took special passion in the industry who had taught me the meaning and the purpose of their doing and the purpose of my doing. Sonia is the lucky few who inherited the family heritage and being immersed, embedded in this hospitality culture as she merely grew up in it. And I'm fortunate to cross paths with her as well. 2011, her vision, redefining the meaning of luxury, not just talking luxury, but rather experience luxury and focus on her focus in connect geographically, as we call it, the sense of place and giving people the truth global experience and absolutely, it absolutely fascinated me uh, of her vision. And I am continue to be blessed. And I am continue, continuously fortunate to be part of the journey of Rosewood in the making. During the journey, not just simply following what has been done, but rather, how do we improve the past? How do we forecast the future? And how do we develop what's 
at the moment for the purpose of connecting the dots, connecting the generation of the past and the generation of future. Sonia, I extend my deepest congratulations to, to you for all that you've made possible for our hospitality industry and the global traveler. Sonia, you are true ambassador of our industry today and for many generations to come. And I am grateful uh, being part of that journey in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Forth, Stuart and Tony. I think it'd be fair to say that whether they enjoy great heritage uh, or of the newly evolved set inspired by culture and lifestyle trends, if there's been one brand, especially in the past decade, that the luxury hotel establishment in particular has been looking over their shoulder for and now probably find themselves constantly chasing, it's Sonia and her team at Rosewood. Uh, there's no question that particularly over the past decade, Sonia's vision, leadership and taste with the team at Rosewood uh, have not only evolved but redefined how the elements of design, experience, art, culture, wellness and even purpose in luxury and lifestyle driven hospitality are now perceived and interpreted, articulated, curated, layered, appreciated and even shared. Each of their hotels has easily become the most anticipated opening in its respective city. It's a terrific moment to recognize the enormous contribution uh, that Sonia's already made in inspiring and unlocking new directions for hospitality uh, and hospitality design and experiences, but also for us to still look forward uh, to what she and her team will do next and for many years to come that hopefully will still continue to influence and affect where hotels, resorts, restaurants, spas, clubs and whatever other space she decides to delve into, whether luxury or approachable will go. Uh, so with that, it's my great pleasure uh, to introduce and present the Outstanding Contribution Award to Sonia Cheng, CEO of Rosewood Hotel Group. Congratulations, Sonia. Thank you. Thank you so much, Troy. It is such an honor to receive such a prestigious award. I feel very proud to be recognized by a head and to join the list of distinguished recipients of this award who have all lead the way in innovating and contributing to hospitality design. And I'm also very grateful to my team who have supported me throughout this journey allowing us to be here to accept this award today. Thank you everyone and thank you again. Great, thank, thank you. you. Congratulations to AHEAD Asia 2021 Outstanding Contribution Recipient, Sonia Cheng. Our thanks to Sonia and the whole Rosewood team and of course to Troy for creating this celebration. Now, Sleeper Magazine are totally committed, virtually and in real life, to celebrating the very best in hospitality experience and design across the world. And we know that we will meet again. And to do so, we have launched a new event series called Sleeper Sessions. Designed with COVID in mind, sessions will safely connect creators of hospitality experiences, and that's all of you. Our first Sleeper Sessions is scheduled to take place next year in Mykonos, 
followed by Da Nang in October 2022. Find out more at sleepersessions.com. And I look forward to seeing you along for this great new adventure. Well, that's it for part one of Ahead Asia 2021. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to post your comments on social. Congratulations to our first set of winners and a huge thanks to all of our supporters and sponsors. We'll be back here in 15 minutes to reveal the remaining winners. See you shortly.